In an ominous warning to humanity, NASA's chief reveals the potential death of an astronomical object in the well-known shoulder of Orion. A star called Betelgeuse, while this may sound far-fetched and somewhat confined to the realm of science fiction, talks about Betelgeuse's eruption has been circulating for a while now, with astronomers and space enthusiasts alike placing their bets on a life-altering outburst. Will we really witness an explosive supernova in the night sky soon? Will the impact cause devastation on Earth? Join us as we explore the serious warning from NASA about the end of Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse, also called Alpha Orionis, is an enormous red supergiant star roughly 74 times the size of the Sun, approximately 10 million years old. Originally the tenth brightest star in the sky, its luminosity has gotten so bright that it has become the second brightest star in its constellation Orion, followed by the brightest blue star Regel. This supergiant has 126,000 solar luminosities and is visible from 548 light years with a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin, making it cooler than the Sun. With an estimated age of 9 to 10 million years, Betelgeuse is relatively young compared to the Sun, which is roughly 10 billion years old. Previous studies have suggested that the star could be larger than Jupiter's orbit. Although many old star charts depict Betelgeuse as Orion's right shoulder, Orion is typically associated with a giant, warrior, or other anthropomorphic or animal figure in ancient mythology. Unlike other stars in the cosmos, the name Betelgeuse was derived from the Arabic term Bat al Jawaza, translated as the giant's shoulder. However, there have been some debate about how the modern name came to be but most agree that it was probably from the Arabic Yad al juaza or the Hand of Oria, with al juaza being the traditional name given in Arabic for Oria. The Y in Yad was then corrupted in early Western translation localization as a B and became Biat al juaza Betelgeuse appears distinctively orange-red in color when viewed through a telescope or with the naked eye. The contrast in color between this star and the other bluer stars, or Orion, makes it easy to identify. It is also said to be the most luminous star in the night sky, and largest star visible to the naked eye. While it is located approximately 640 light years away from Earth, its brightness, position, and color make it visible even to the casual observer. Scientists have noticed an unprecedented drop in the brightness of the star. The change was first observed between the end of 2019 and the beginning of 2020. This alteration has raised news about the possibility of Betelgeuse undergoing a supernova explosion. However, neither the scientific community nor any study team has corroborated the information or specified precisely when the supernova explosion can or will occur. Supernovas are some of the most spectacular events you can witness in the sky. Stars, despite outliving us by billions of years, eventually die, and they do so in the most dramatic way possible, by exploding into a supernovae. They produce extremely bright flashes of light, along with powerful shock waves and vast clouds of dust. Some supernova explosions can briefly outshine the billions of other stars in the galaxy. The immense explosions resulting from a supernova are generally accompanied by a phenomenon known as a gamma-ray burst. Gamma-ray bursts are the most luminous events known to occur in the universe, releasing more energy in a single moment than our sun will over its entire lifetime. According to NASA, ancient astronomers, without the benefits of modern-day space observation equipment, knew about supernovae because of their transient appearance in the sky. Even so, there were many cultures who thought the supernova was a sign of a much more sinister event, an omen of great change and a forewarning of the end of the world. The oldest mention of supernovas is RCW 86, 
which Chinese astronomers saw in 185 AD, which they claim stayed up in the sky for eight months shining so bright. Apart from RCW86, Chinese and Korean astronomers also spotted the explosion of the Crab Nebula in 1054. Historical evidence shows that the event might also have been noticed by Native Americans in the U.S. The last supernova which was visible to the naked eye came in 1604, when Kepler's star died, producing a bright light which was visible during the daytime for three weeks. Analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, astronomers have concluded that the bright red supergiant star Betelgeuse has generated a massive surface mass ejection SME, which is responsible for the observed variation in the star's luminosity. Hydrogen is the building block of every star, and a star's core undergoes nuclear fusion due to the pull of gravity shortly after birth. This energy travels to the star's surface and is then released as a photon into space. However, as the star ages, its primary fuel, hydrogen, is depleted. Helium begins to combine with carbon, and then neon combines with carbon, which form iron. When iron begins to fuse, the star collapses in on itself, giving rise to a supernova explosion. While Betelgeuse won't necessarily be exploding anytime soon, these new observations provide clues about how red stars lose mass at the end of their lives as their nuclear fusion furnaces burn out, before exploding as supernovae. Astronomer Yvette Sendez of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics said on Reddit, We don't think Betelgeuse is likely to go supernova in our lifetimes, as it probably still has tens of thousands of years, if not 100,000 years. The titanic outburst in 2019 was possibly caused by a convective plume, more than a million miles across, bubbling up from deep inside the star. Betelgeuse is now struggling to recover from this injury. Weighing roughly several times as much as our moon, the fractured piece of photosphere sped off into space and cooled to form a dust cloud that blocked light from the star as seen by Earth observers. Despite this catastrophic upheaval, the monster star continues to slowly recover. More significantly, the supergiant's 400-day pulsation rate has disappeared, at least temporarily. In this instance, the ferocity of the blowout can be seen in its disruption. The latest observations show that the dust cloud has dissipated and the surface of Betelgeuse is once again visible. Observations show that the star is now brighter than it was before it blew apart. While astronomers do not expect to witness another historic supernova in our lifetime, there are many other massive stars that are approaching this end stage of stellar evolution. Flying humans to the stars may soon become more reality than science fiction. The first spaceport on the entire planet has finally opened its doors for everyone to see what they're building. So. To take a look inside and see the fleet of starships that Elon Musk is planning to send humans to Mars, then click this video right here. Stay up to date with all the latest findings in the galaxy at space-news.co and subscribe for all the latest videos from Space News.